The first edition of the International Film Festival and Awards Macau managed to attract a cornucopia of movies and stars from around the globe. Bollywood living legend director Shekhar Kapoor, who directed one of the highest grossing films in the history of Indian cinema, Mr. India, is a great Asian films enthusiast and established himself as a key figure during the event. Well, you know, Mr. India is still every month on television showings, screenings. It returns twice the budget of the original budget of the film every month. There's a childlike innocence to that film. It was about a man and ten orphans who, do, who gets the power of invisibility. And together, these kids, these ten orphans, it, and him, they went out, they go out and, and save India from disaster. <laughs> like. Shekhar is also used to working with Hollywood superstars. He directed the British costume drama Elizabeth, starring Kate Blanchett, and became a major success worldwide. You know, when I made uh, a film like Elizabeth, for example, I'd never film, made a film outside India or in anything but an Indian language. And I was completely from, how, how am I going to do it? So because for every artist, it's very essential, even filmmaker, art, poet, writer, to understand your own identity. So if you look at a lot, lot of the reviews, New York Times, everybody, they said, oh, it's an, it's an MTV version of the Elizabethan court. There's a lot of initial misunderstanding, kind of people saying, well, what is this? What is it like that? And then they all said, once they settled to this new form of cinema that I did and that, then of course, everybody started reviewing it and then it got eight or nine Oscar nominations. But Fundamentally, I realized what I was doing. It was a Bollywood film. Very much used to building bridges between East and West, Shekhar Kapoor was a very smart choice to fill the jury's director chair. I was offered it. And uh, the offer was so hesitant as if they thought I might say no. And I was in the middle of production. I'm making William Shakespeare's life story right now. And I was in the middle of production. I just jumped at it because I thought, oh, Macau, that's interesting, a new festival, fascinating. I can be involved in the first aspect of its growth, and it's Asia. And anything that I, I see, the name, okay, it's Asian, let's do it. It's the future. Twelve movies were selected for the official competition. From the Argentinian drama, The Winter, to Chinese mystery thriller, Hide and Seek, Local cinema was also represented in the group by Tracy Choi's debut feature, Sisterhood. Among the selection were also two Portuguese language films, the Brazilian feature, Elon Doesn't Believe in Death, and a Portuguese film, St. George. The festival also dedicated a retrospective to Gui Lun Mei, a talented young Taiwanese actress with an already formidable career. Besides the official competition, a wide variety of movies, such as Raj Kapoor's The Vagabond, were showcased. The 1951 drama which Time magazine included in its list of 10 Indian films to treasure in 2003. And the French psychological thriller cult movie Eyes Without a Face, directed by Georges Franjou. Writer director Tom McCarthy, whose film Spotlight won an Academy Award for Best Picture in 2016, shares some thoughts of his own on what makes a good film festival and leaves a couple of suggestions for what this festival can become. I think some of the more interesting festivals in the world, whether it's San Sebastian or uh, you know, some of the smaller, even Telluride Film Festival, these aren't huge festivals, but they have great prestige and they're very uh, well regarded because of their attention to detail and also just they have their own personality. And I think that's what every festival is searching for, its own personality. Well, it, what it can act as is a hub, right? Because what it is is multicultural. So it can attract, it can act as a hub to the region. It doesn't almost have to be in Beijing, you know. Uh, it can be uh, one jumping off spot and something very, you know, it is a very unique, it's uniquely located, right? 
McCarthy, along with Hollywood-based Italian producer Gianni Nunati, known for producing industry hits such as David Fincher's Seven and Martin Scorsese's Shutter Island, shared some of their know-how in a free masterclass attended by a significantly large audience. It's all down, all the lines, even radio. Whatever the hell's going on here, it's bad. In the awards ceremony, Secretary for Social Affairs and Culture of Macau, Mr. Alexis Tam, presented a Career Achievement Award to Feng Xiaogang, an actor-director known for such movies as If You Are the One and Back to 1942. What eyes on you? Among many other awards, the big winners of the night were Portuguese movie St. George, awarded Best Director and Best Actor. Director Marco Martins talked about what inspired him to make the film. When I start writing St. George, people keep saying me that, well, it's, there's nothing more dangerous than making a film about the present because you don't have perspective and, you know, like, things will, be, will seem different in a few years and when you look back, you have, you know, a different perspective about it. I, and I, and I, I tend to agree with it, but then for us it was a decisive moment in our recent story where a lot of people was losing his jobs, his social privilege, uh, so everything was changing very much. So I took the risk. An Argentinian drama, The Winter, awarded for Best Movie. Bueno. En realidad cuando llegamos acá, llegamos, ya para nosotros había sido un, un honor venir al Festival de Macao. When we arrived here, it was already an honor to just to be here. Y bueno, y ya ganar algún premio era, era buenísimo y haber ganado el premio a Mejor Película fue como una distinción espectacular. Digo, ¿no? To win any award would be just great, but just to win the main award is just spectacular. A very interesting and eclectic first edition of the International Film Festival and Awards Macau. Whether the second year will keep the momentum going remains to be seen.